Hello everyone, this is Dan Ralston, one of the school counselors at Stillwater Area High School. Today we're going to walk through the new PowerSchool SIS student management system and how to register for your classes for the 21-22 school year. Here's the login everybody should have. It's a public login, everybody's there. At this point, parents, you don't have a login, you don't have a username, there's nothing that you can do as parents to get in and look at it. We are only going into the student account. So you're going to click on student sign in. You're going to see who's used this computer, and it simply links with the um, Google accounts that have been in. Today we are Happy Pony. So no longer am I Dan Ralston. My name is Happy Pony. As Happy, this is the new PowerSchool SIS student management system. This is what you will look at instead of Skyward next year. What we are going to do and concentrate on is the class registration. You can look through all of these things, but there's no information in there other than class registration. So if you click on the class registration, here we go. I am a current ninth grader. See, my name is Happy Pony. Um, and I am looking to register for my classes for next year. So it's this simple. I know I can right click on this um, and I can open link in a new window. And the beauty of that is I will have access to my pathways and possibilities planner and all the information that we call the tag along, my required courses, my future, all that good stuff, my core classes, and getting all the way into our pathways and possibility, um, which is wonderful exercise in how we organize all of our classes. So that's right there, you use that right click. Next, you're gonna look at all these classes. Here's my 10th grade language arts. If you're incoming ninth grade, it's gonna say ninth grade. If you're incoming junior, it's gonna say junior, so it's specific to your grade level. All these red marks means that they are areas that I have to work on, so I can go through and I can click next year. I know that I want to take English 10. If I want to do enrich, I do that. Click A and B. We're good to go. I got a green check mark. My social studies, I've already talked to my teacher. I've thought about it a little bit. I am going to challenge myself and put myself in the AP World History course. Boom. There they are as my courses. I'm looking at my math classes. Math classes, there's lots of different options for me to do. I know that I'm in geometry. So I'm going to look for my Algebra 2 next year. I'm in Geometry as a ninth grader. I'm going to Algebra 2. It's the next most logical thing. I click there, and I click OK. That quick, I'm done with my Language Arts, my Social Studies, my Math. As I get to Science, as a ninth grader, I'm in STEM Physical Science, we're going to say. Going to my 10th grade class, I know that I want to move on to Chemistry. So I'm looking here. Ah, oh, Chemistry is not there. I go to page two, here's my chemistry, and there's a little bit of an error that we're going to fix, that nine shouldn't be there, but we're going to fix our two chemistry classes um, and move forward. There's our chemistry. Now we're going to look at our pathways and electives. This is all of the elective courses. I am, um, I'm currently a language student. So what I want to do is I can also click on this number and they're going to organize in here. When I was looking at my pathways, I knew that all the languages started with W. So I'm going to go way out to the end here um, and look at my language. There we are. I'm in French 2 right now, so I'm going to plan to take French 3. It tells me I need to click between 4 and 6 courses, so I need to find my other classes. Um, the other thing that I am doing is I know that I want to meet one of my art requirements next year. So I'm looking at my art and I'm going to pick clay and sculpture. And I know that I need to meet my health requirement next year. So I'm looking through these numbers and I know that the health class that I was looking at earlier started with an H. So there we go. Personal and community health. Boom. There we go. I've got my four classes. The reason it says six, if you were a student who wanted to do the online personal health and community, you would choose that one. And it would allow you to add that course because it's outside of our school um, classes. So you'd actually be adding that above and beyond your classes. I've got my four selected. It tells me that right there. I'm going to hit my OK tab. Move on to my next one. Ten grade level elective alternatives. So if people can't get me into these classes, what are my alternatives that I need to do? I'm going to go here. 
I know that if I can't get into clay, I know that the graphic design class sounded pretty good. I know that metal sounded good. I was looking at um, a business class. I went too far, so I got to go back. Where is it? There it is, financial accounting. And let me go forward and look for my physical education class. Boom, fitness for life. There we go. That's four. I'm going to put weight training in there just in case. You may select five courses. You've selected five courses. I hit OK. Now I go here. I've got all these green check marks. Everything is good. Everything is hunky dory. I'm going to submit. You have to have those right classes all clicked in order to hit submit. You can see at the bottom I'm requesting 12 credit hours. It has to be between 12 and 14 in order for you to hit submit. If you're missing classes or things, it's not going to let you. Once I hit submit, there I am. Happy pony. I'm happy. I've got all my classes listed right there. My 12 classes for next year that I'm requesting. My five alternates in case I can't get in. And I'm good to go. I've met my requirement. Boom. Now, if I have a discussion with my counselor or my parents, um, if I look and talk with the teacher and we decide that something is different and I need to edit that, it's easy to do. All I have to do is go back to class registration and click on it and I'm right back where I started. And maybe the decision that we made is that um, chemistry isn't the right answer for me. And actually next year what I want to do is I want to do biology instead. So I'm going to unclick chemistry. I'm going to move that to biology. I'm going to enter OK. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hit Submit. And now my courses are updated. There's my biology with the other courses that I chose. And we are good to go. Sign myself out of my SIS system. And we are all set. So that is how to do PowerSchool. If you need further questions, the best answer is to check in with your uh, teachers and your counselors at the high school and at the middle school for that. Thanks!